Hey guys, welcome to our first mic'd up video. Well, the last line's gonna be here, but we're gonna count this because I'm probably gonna do most of it here. We're doing chest try out and buy. I'll see you there. Good morning, everybody. Oh my god. Ah, one of the big exercises like posture is really important. So anyways, like you don't wanna you don't be hunched over. Using your how I do it anyways. I'm gonna butt a little bit and I'm gonna put my shoulders back. Evidently, here's what happened. So I'm gonna my shoulders back, keep my back straight, bend my knees, keep my, keep my butt out. You know, and it's all progress. Like, I'm not perfect, you know what I mean? The basic front lines, I'm tricep pull down with the rope anyways. You basically just wanna keep your back straight, make sure you're not hunching over. So kinda not like a, a lat pull down because the lats are different. Because if you're doing lats, then, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can see that, but evidently I'm using my back. With this, I'm doing my back straight, we're not hunching over, pumping the butt out, and then keeping our elbows at a flexion. So I'm flexed in a sense, I like this, I like this, bend over. This is the middle part where you come back to basically, and then push, 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 push. We're building our strength, but we're also building our muscle growth at the same time because we're lo overloading our muscles and extending the abdomen before. So increasing it over and over again, just keep doing that. All right, though, get it. All right, but right here, for example, why people's elbows may, I mean, not elbows, shoulders may hurt, because they may go all the way down. And evidently, that's when you start using your elbow. You can go like this, like right above your chest. Because there's a point where your chest caves in. Nine. Boom. And that gets me the direct peak. There's other bicep workouts that just hit your outer, your inner, your outer, and then your directional your lengths, but evidently, you gotta work out all sides of them. So a lot of people will forget that, and you gotta, you're always hit all sides of them. At least like your tricep, you got your long head, you got your short head, evidently. So, yeah, but it's all fun and games, you know what I mean? Look at videos, I'm gonna talk more about it all, exercises that hit directional ones, you know what I mean? But that's an example of using it. So the thing is, that this one does both. So with the one I just did, it does do directional a little bit. It strengthens my length, strengthens how much I can hold with it, evidently. Maybe not pull, but then contraction-wise, this is what this is what's being worked out mostly. So the resistance of the descending, this, all the way. But when I'm contracting it, this. So it is complicated, but you get used to it, and you get used to it, and not that it's complicated, but like you get used to the fact of how things work. One thing is we're gonna drink water. So that's because that's an important thing. I say that, but I can't even grab it right now because it's dumbbells, right? All right. I reached it. Oh. Oh. Right. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> that was crazy. Get it. Look at that, we did turn. So evidently, why well, didn't it? Not evidently. I'm still saying evidently, bro. Alright. 
to the incline press. Right, so that's that's affecting our lower chest. So evidently, if you have three parts of your chest, you want to hit always. You have the middle, the midline, the lower, and the upper. Evidently, a lot of people's weak parts are the lower, because evidently, everyday life doesn't use the lower one. And evidently, the higher one is the probably second, and the middle one is the middle. Ah. Okay, so with this you want to make sure your back straight too, posture. That's all the way. I did singing for a while. Good singing posture with keeping the straight back and all that. Evidently, posture. So what I was saying about my singing posture. So the thing is that you want to keep that tall posture. You want to keep your neck in line. You want to keep everything in line. Your shoulders back. Evidently, you want to keep your lower back. You're not rounded. Kind of like a deadlift. You know what I mean? So evidently, when you have your back straight. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna rock. So kind of like you don't wanna go. You don't wanna do that. So stay up. In the middle, anyways. Cause this flies. Go one foot forward if you need. Go rock back and forth. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. See, evidently, just figure out what works for you. you know I mean, not everybody's gonna have have the same results that you do. You know what I mean? You all know that already, but I mean results. I mean, like maybe something works for someone, but maybe it doesn't work for the other person. That's what just ends up happening. So evidently, that right there. I'm not really happy with it, but you just keep working for it. You keep working at it, you know, getting better. Go low and wait, everything. Evidently, this right here isn't as strong as I want it to be. But I got it. Cool. But it's just a little bit tired because of the incline push up, incline press, I mean. So, yeah, it's all good. Okay, we're getting to the max, anyways. But yeah, I love running out in the mornings. It's always so fun. There's not many people, but I love looking outside and it's dark. Because when it's nighttime, there's a bunch of people, always. When you wake up and all that, you feel like, the reason I wake up so early, and maybe why you should too, is that evidently, I feel like I've already done so much by the, by the time of 10. So maybe at that point, because the gym, feeling productive, I want to I wanna do some stuff, so I do some work. I, do, I cook myself breakfast, I meal prep for the day. You know what I mean? And from there, I feel like I've already done so much. And it's only like 11 or 10. And from there, I relax. Do a little me care time. Or a lot of times, I go to work. The only person in this life that really matters is you. Of course, your family matters and all that. But like, your family's not going to make you do something, right? At the end of the day, you're going to make yourself do something. It's all come down to you. In my bio, I had nothing external can can defeat the internal because evidently if something external does affect you you're letting it affect you and evidently it doesn't make any sense because bullying is a factor that happens you know what i mean but if you think about it when someone bullies you you believe them you intend to be like oh my god is that how people think of me and evidently doing this and all that you realize that you have control in your life you have control over yourself no one's gonna tell you to do something like no one's gonna tell me over here and be like oh my god you work out because if anything i'm very humble you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me that i'm doing something wrong all right i'll fix it you know what i mean and i love that because my craft is nowhere near perfect i want it to be perfect but i want to be perfect but nothing's ever perfect you know what i mean because these hurt because evidently if you're feeling it you're gonna feel it sometimes and we're places 
Same repeating motion. Remember that. You got it. Same repeating motion over and over the contraction of your chest. Feeling it. Continuously resist against the weight. Bodybuilders, let's say, are gonna go low in weight, but they're gonna hold this out. Most of the time. This is important. This, all the way, this is gonna burn you. So, when I used to do one, two, three. 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 Evidently, I mean, uh, I did, this is my lowest weight. This is my lowest weight I've done with these flies, right? So, with these um, cable flies, right? But evidently, I feel it more now than before. And evidently it has to do with the fact that I, I did do other exercises before this, but like evidently, like holding it out and sustaining it, that really hurts. So try sometime, sustain it. Maybe go a little lower in weight, sustain. Challenge yourself, you know what I mean? I challenge myself with power, challenge yourself with something today. Hit it to the max with endurance, strength, power, whatever you want. Don't hurt yourself, you got this, I believe in you. You guys got this. You know, I'm just, I'm just a 17 year old boy. You know what I mean? You can do whatever you want. You sit that, you sit there with that attitude. You can do anything.